Oh, hi, didn't see you there. I'm Nick Langlois, with the, an LRCC member with the Squam Lakes Association. And if you want to join me, I'm about to head out to the stream to look at some freshwater invertebrates. in a stream is really important because it helps you figure out the quality of the stream or how healthy the stream is. If there's more insects, then you're gonna then you can assume that it's a more healthy ecosystem. And some insects uh, rely on very clean water, so that's a so that's a perfect sign of a healthy stream if you see them in there. But I have my field guide of insects and spiders, and I have a and I have some more gear. Let me show you. So besides a field guide, you need plenty of other equipment to make sure that we're ready to go out into the streams. So that's why I have a bunch of equipment set up for us right here. Like this net that we're going to be using to catch our insects that we stir up from the, from the sediment. To my boots here that are going to keep me from getting wet from the water. Which, since we're in a stream, it's not going to be deeper than one to two feet. But in case it is, I've got this nice pair of waders keep me high and dry the whole time. And most importantly of all, I have these little forceps here, tied around my neck. Uh, patent pending. And also a coat, in case it gets cold later. Alright. So, here we find ourselves in a riffle which is a shallow part of a stream that's usually at the mouth of a river, but that's where we find so many different invertebrates hiding inside of the rocks and in the, and in the sediment, and so many little guys have been slowly growing over the winter, feeding, feeding on algae and other insects and, all the, and everything like that, and now that, the, and now that the ice is starting to melt, they're getting ready to emerge out as adults. So I'm out in the stream now, and we're getting ready to collect some macro invertebrates. So I'm going to be uh, disturbing this sediment and trying to get as many critters to float downstream as we can while my assistant Moses is holding the net. Say hi, Moses! Hi. <laughs> I'm taking up as much sediment as I can to get a, and try to get as many invertebrates and other critters on the, on the stream bed down here. Stir it up so they flow down into the river into Moses' nest. That's enough. So now that we've got a big net of goop and I have my free seps, then we're ready to start diving in. So let's let's see what we've got in all this in all this sediment. All right, you ready for something cool? You see that? This is a dragonfly larva, and he's really big. He should be ready to pupate in a matter of weeks. Since he spends all his time underwater, he doesn't have his wings yet. So he probably doesn't look the same as the dragonflies you're familiar with. These guys are predators too. They go around and they eat anything smaller than them. Anything smaller than them. So like some little worms or some larva. Anything. Alright. So this guy is really cool. And I'm glad I got to meet him, but now it's time to say goodbye. Alright, what have we got here? Looks like... Some kind of fly larva. Flexing his jaws right now. So he just kind of crawls on the bottom and eats dead plant matter. He's upset because he like can't that. eat stuff meat. like leaves and algae.
You can see he has... Now what have we got here? It looks like... some kind of worm. It's a fly larva. And he's bright red. And that's because he has a lot of hemoglobin, which is the main part of blood, inside of his body. He's used to being in places that don't have a lot of oxygen. So his body takes as much oxygen around it as it can. And he just so happens to be bright red because of it. Found another cool guy out in the stream here. He's a little snail. Look at this guy. He's inside his shell right now, where you can see he has a little hatch that he closes whenever he, whenever he senses danger. And he's not, I guess he's not too happy right now since we took him out of his home here. But he's alive inside of there. So here I am out in this stream right now. We've taken a sample of this really sandy bottom. Look at this little guy that I found. This is called a caddis fly. And in their larval state, they live at the bottom of stream beds. And they're really, and they're kind of like turtles because they use whatever's around them, like sand or other little particulates, and they glue it together and make themselves their own little shell where they live like a hermit crab. So you can see him in here. He's a big guy too. Eventually they'll pupate. And once they're adults, they become a nice, they become a little fly that flies around and starts the life cycle over again. That about does it for our streamwater ecology adventure, but I think we found some really cool insects that show us just how cool our stream beds really are. But thank you for joining me on this adventure, and don't forget to share, learn, and adventure. Bye bye!